If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The here. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese and college cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to go over a topic that's really affecting both games. Starting off with a tweet that was put out by NFL or Madden NFL Direct just yesterday. This was something that, when they usually put out a tweet like this, makes you think that they're going to be releasing some sort of patch or some sort of update but Madden has suddenly developed a trend where they're putting out multiple uh, tweets over the last uh, couple of weeks two within the last four days two within the last uh, since October started they put out two tweets just like this one on October 1st one on October 3rd both suggesting that there was going to be some sort of maintenance update uh, to come to the game and then the following day there was no update there was nothing that would change in the game at all uh, no patch notes or nothing like that so it's to the point where it got me wondering what is EA uh, basically hiding because there's been times where they change stuff in the game and they don't actually put out any patch notes because they don't really want you to know what they're fixing and I think typically this is around especially they even do this when they put out actual patch notes a lot of times they'll leave stuff out that's kind of like more on the embarrassing side where they don't want necessarily promote the fact that um, you know a lot of stupid stuff is happening in their game because they're hoping that the online community doesn't necessarily know that because truthfully if it's not for like channels like this or the online forums on EA's platform how would you know aside from social media and other outlets like that but how would you know that there's a common issue that's going on in the game unless you see other people talking about it i made a video about this about two weeks ago more specifically about um my a playbook issue i was having when i went into online head-to-head -head in madden where essentially if multiple people would quit on you or rage quit on you in a game i think that from what i heard from a from somebody in the comment section they said if two people quit on you in a game rage quit on you it basically resets your playbooks to default and you would essentially get stuck with the same uh, Arizona Cardinals playbook every single time. Like I said, I showed this in a video about two weeks ago. I showed you guys how to fix it. Uh, basically, if you set, if you go into settings and you set your uh, custom playbooks or you set your team playbook to, from team specific to whatever your favorite playbooks are, uh, it would get basically like that wasn't even really happening. And when you go into a game, you would I would I was always getting the Cardinals, the Cardinals offense and the Cardinals defense, which is the first name in the order, alphabetical order. So I don't know how. I, the, the way that I fixed that was I went into settings, I set it back to team specific, and then when I went into a game, it would show me, even though I'm using the Eagles a lot, I would say Arizona Cardinals, offense and defense, and then I would basically just have to select my playbooks every single time. So this is the bigger issue that I really want to talk about in this video today. It's more specifically geared towards playbooks, but it's also geared towards information saving from mode to mode, which doesn't really seem to be working in either college football or Madden 25. In college football, if you do something simple, like if you do go into a play now game in college football, it saves all your information fine. You go from, uh, you know, whatever you have set in your settings, if you have your kicking meter set from tap and uh, tap and hold to tap and tap, it'll save that. But if you go into a franchise game, uh, or not a franchise, but a dynasty mode game, there's a bug where it always resets your kick meter to tap and hold, and it also resets your heat seeker window to 100%. It basically just changes certain things. Like for some reason, there's an inability to communicate from the main home screen where you set your settings to all these other game modes. And that also relates to me, in my opinion, that relates to in custom playbooks, because it's the same issue that I discovered in Madden, where if I go into a game with my online playbook set to the playbooks that I want, it doesn't even translate over when you go into an online head-to-head -head game. So I know a lot of people have an issue with the inability to use custom playbooks this year in their favorite game mode. I know a lot of people have issues in college where they can't even change team playbooks, at least in Madden you can change team playbooks. And the, the, the lip service that you got for Madden when it relates to both of these issues is uh, number one, in college, they don't want uh, people using the most overpowered teams and also using the most overpowered playbooks, which makes no sense at all. Because Alabama and Georgia are two of the best teams in the entire game, and they also have two of the best playbooks. They're the two first playbooks that I'm focusing on in my ebooks. Uh, Georgia was the first one, which I'm still using. It's still my favorite. It has all the gun bunch formations and stuff like that, which is typically something that is always the meta every single year. So in my opinion, Opinion, it would make less sense if you're gonna if you're gonna do that you would give the better teams worse playbooks alabama by the way is the next playbook that i'm almost done with i already have the the full length breakdown posted on my join now community and patreon that's also one of the best playbooks in the game that 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 video that i made for that that full breakdown is over four hours long which is easily the largest which is why i still don't have the ebook done because it's taking forever to type it out but that's easiest easily the largest ebook that i've ever done so i don't know whether they're trying to fool thinking that people are going to 
pass off the opportunity to use gun bunch for the flex bone, which is basically what they're trying to sell you is they don't want everybody using overpowered formations like the flex bone when you have uh, Alabama, which has probably the most shotgun formations out of any playbook in the entire game, which is typically what people use. So I don't know why they're trying to make it sound like it's more about preserving uh, the variety or preserving some sort of ability to use the overpowered playbooks. That makes no sense at all. I mean, you can still do that in mutt and cut. You can still use whatever playbooks you want. So I guess they what they don't care about those modes because that's not the truth. They, they, they care more about those modes than any other mode because those are the modes that make the most money. So why is it that custom playbooks aren't allowed in Madden online head to head? And why is it that you aren't allowed to change team playbooks? What's the real reason behind that? I think personally, it has more to do with the new uh, playbook system that they put out. And I'm going to bring up an article here as I'm going to read it and I'll try to I'll try to pop it up for you guys when I edit the video, but it says here they have a full section when Madden 25 came out, they had a full section talking about the new uh, improvements that they made to playbooks. And in this in this section here it says as another one of our key innovations, the team is really excited about a brand new playbook tool we've been investing in for several years. We began designing this new frostbite capability in 2021 and I've been implementing it since 2022. This invest this investment is going to start to return to wait, start to return dividends to players in Madden NFL 25 by not only creating some really cool new plays, but also with it, it will allow us to do during the season. So they're basically telling you how they have an NFL live uh, thing, which they did start in 2021, which was still on the older version of the game, by the way. The new game that we're playing now feels pretty different. It feels like what they did was they developed college behind the scenes and then they a lot of people worry that they would copy and paste madden to college but if you play this game and you see a lot of the new plays if you play both games you see that madden really plays like a worse version of college it feels like they tried to port over the coding from college to madden and it's just not taken very well like for whatever reason they did a poor job of of importing the stuff because you know they still have the new hits or the new uh the new uh, switch stick and uh, a lot of the new functions the new uh you know the revamp passing all this stuff was made for college and it seems like they're trying to put it in Madden, and it doesn't seem like they're doing a very good job because Madden just feels more broken while college just feels way more polished. And I think the reason for that is, number one, I don't think that they really built college from the ground up. I feel like they took the whatever version of Madden was out when they started building college, I feel like they took that and tried to copy and paste it and, and basically build it from there. And that's why we're having all these playbook issues. Because if you make custom playbooks, for the last 10, 15 years, probably since like Madden 12, there's been bugs in the custom playbooks to the point where if you hit the 500 play uh, max, that it would essentially uh, glitch out the playbook. And we're still seeing that today. Now, and I know this for, for college, which wasn't even around back then, in college, if you hit that 500 cap, because I know I just had somebody, this happened to one of my clients who I do coaching sessions with, he hit the 500 cap and now he can't even see his audible plays when he goes into a game because that's the same glitch. It's the same glitch that's been around for a decade or more where if you create a custom playbook and you hit that 500 plays, and if you play Madden, you're listening to this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you hit that 500 plays and you don't delete it properly in the same order that you added them, your playbook is glitched and you got to start over, which is still happening in Madden, by the way, because I have another client who told me that uh, via t a text not too long ago that they're having the same issue. This same client, by the way, had the exact same issue that I went over early in this video that I went over a couple weeks ago where their playbooks were resetting. I've had people in the comment section having the exact same issue that I just discussed. So it's a very common issue. Now EA did do a very good, uh, you know, something recently in, in the most recent patch where they allow you to save your audibles, which is huge because that hasn't been available forever. And it feels like that was something that they've been trying to implement in the game because that was something that they were really proud of. The fact that you can finally save your audible plays because they go over that in the same article a few paragraphs later where they say with this new tech update and new design online head-to-head -head custom playbooks will not be available in the online head-to-head -head regs or play a friend at launch this year the future release of saving custom audibles will be coming to madden 25 post launch so they're basically telling you with that line of text that the reason that you're not allowed to use uh, custom playbooks in your favorite game mode at launch is because they're trying to basically make it so that you can save custom audibles from game to game to game. Now, I don't know why exactly that is that they can't do both, but it sounds like to me at least that since there's been an issue over the last decade or more when it comes to custom playbooks, and they're still trying to solve that bug, uh, and that issue, like I said, it carried over to college because they obviously used a lot of stuff from Madden to create the new college game, and that's why the new Madden 25 just really feels like a Frankenstein. 
because it's really just like a combination of old Madden uh, coding and college coding that's new, and they're just kind of throwing it together in a game and hoping that it works out, and it just pl it just plays really poorly. So to me, they basically sacrifice custom playbooks because that's been an issue they've been dealing with for so long. So they basically are sacrificing custom playbooks for the ability to save custom audibles. And I haven't seen any communication. I mean, there was some rumors that uh, Clint Odenberg, I think, said that they were eventually going to have um, custom playbooks had added to the game, but it's been like two months now. So what are we waiting on? But at the same time, it feels like that's never going to happen. And it's not because they don't want it, it's because they don't know how. And that's what I'm trying to get at with these server maintenances that are constantly popping up to let you know like, hey, we're working on something. And then after they don't figure it out, they just kind of act like it never happened. That's kind of what it feels like we're in a loop of right now. It feels like they're trying to fix these issues, but they don't know how to do it. And it's not hard to believe based on the fact that these custom playbook issues have been an issue for a decade or more. And people that have been playing this game for the entire decade know that the exact same custom playbook issue is carried over from Madden 12 to Madden 13 to Madden 14 to Madden 15. Every single year it got to the point where if you were a Madden player, you knew like, hey, don't go over 500 plays or else you're going to glitch out your playbook. Everybody knows this. Anybody that plays this game enough knows this. And it's been that way so long. If they haven't fixed it in 10 years, what makes anybody think that eventually you're going to get your custom playbook back in a timely manner? Now, I know a lot of people have also uh, boycotted and returned their copy of Madden. I had people in my comment section telling me this based on the fact that you can't use custom playbooks. I have people that have told me that they don't play online head-to-head -head until they're allowed custom playbooks. They just play in a, in a uh, league so they can use their custom playbook. So... I don't really know uh, when this is going to get fixed. I don't even know if that's really what they're trying to fix, but it should be because it's it's a really big issue for a lot of people. So I just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention because I know a lot of people are still asking me, can we use custom playbooks yet? Can we use custom playbooks yet? Pretty much every single time an update video comes out, that's one of my most commented things. So I want to give you guys an update on my thoughts about what I think is going to happen. I don't, I don't think we're going to get these things fixed because let's be honest, in a college football game, you can't even change your uniforms yet. If you go into a road to college football game, you still have to use the default uniforms. There's like no customization when you go into a game. So I can't on that front imagine that they're ever going to fix that. But at least in Madden, I think they're really feeling the, the, the pinch as far as not allowing custom playbooks in certain modes. And I think it's costing them a lot of people playing the game so i think that they're working on that a little bit more than they're putting time into uh, adding these things in college but they really need to change that in college as well we need to start being able to use custom uniforms and we need to start being able to use whatever playbook we want at the very least and i think the majority of the community agrees but let me know in the comment section what you guys think i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there i'm gonna have that video popping up about that i was talking about where a couple weeks ago basically i'm still having that issue in this game you're watching where i wasn't allowed to use my own playbook that's why i'm using this horrible offensive formation here uh so if you guys want to see that, if you're having that issue, you want to learn how to fix that, I'll have that popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.